Hello! Welcome back to Day of Dragons. I was invited to another developer showcase to follow up on this game and its progress. Last month's preview was nothing compared to this one. This preview absolutely floored me, and I hope it has the same impression with you. Even in a work in progress state, I honestly think you're going to love what you're about to see. And to be clear with you, this video is not sponsored. First, we're starting off with a showcase of the Blitz Striker with developer Super Rhino. So this is a huge treat, and I wasn't expecting it, but we're <laughs> we're getting a very early look at the Blitz Striker. It's still in development. Some animations are still being worked on. The sounds are still being polished, but that's part of game development in general. It looks so insane, especially in UE5. And it was only last month, I think, we saw the game ported into UE5 and got to see the Bio Dragon right there to the left with its glowing ability and stuff like that. Now we're seeing this guy, which is pretty insane in my opinion. So I have calls. I think um, I think I have one through four. I'm just going to check those out. You know what? I'm going to take flight first, and then we'll check out those calls. All right, so we're in the air as the Blitz Striker, and it is... <laughs> How do you say its name again, the species that this thing is? It's an amphitheater. I'm not even going to try and say that word, but you heard it. it it's the ampha thing. That, yeah. So let's hear the broadcast and just hear what a work in progress sound sounds like. Oh, it's so good and it glows. That is so cool. Oh, man. I'm going to have a face cramp from smiling. That's not okay. <laughs> Oh, that's pure insanity. What really caught my attention and blew me away was the thought to the character design in the sense that they added the sounds of electricity to the call. They added the element itself to the sound of this thing. Oh, that's pure insanity. Oh, man. I don't know if I could do my other calls while I'm in the air. Let me just check and see real quick. Two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I like four call. It's a lot of hissing. So the flight still needs to be polished, obviously, because this is a brand new creature being brought into the world. And once again, we are seeing this in a very early access state that is not public or available to really anyone. This is pretty damn cool so far. And it's so unique to see that it has no legs. It's flying. It's like a, um, it's like a flying snake almost in a way. I'm going to try and land down here as gracefully as I can on my stomach and then check out the threatened call and friendly calls, I believe. All right, I'm coming in for a landing. I will slow right down. There we go. I'm like a fat slug with wings. There we go. Easy enough. <laughs> okay. And there's the bio dragon behind me. So let's see. I think two is the threatened. So let's see what that does. <laughs> okay, I like that too. And I think friendly. Oh! Did not expect. Did not expect that sound. <laughs> That's cool. I feel like there's missing SFX though. Are you going to be adding yes. something for that? There's there's missing effects. Yeah, the Blitz has a lot of work still yet to do on it. You can kind of tell how cool it's going to be. So we have different animations as well. Let me just go ahead and take a see. Oh, wow. Okay, that's one I haven't seen yet. And now if I hold R, do something else. There we go. Okay, so now I'm laying down. I'm flat down to the ground. Eyes are kind of like, they're kind of like half open now because he's like resting. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's getting ready to go to sleep. And then shift R should make me sleep. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute in a horrifying, terrifying way. But so thankfully, we do have a swimming animation. It looks quite nice. We have our wings all bowed out and all the water splashing up over across them. All custom eating animation as well. <laughs> I like that we pick ourselves up with our with our wings. It's a nice little touch. From here, we moved into a very special treat. It starts with the showcase of a day-night cycle, but quickly gets pretty insane. Oh, whoa. Oh, that is cool. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> now look over here. You'll see the, the moon's coming up. All right. Now I want you to come out of first-person mode and uh, do a one call. Okay. All right. All good. Here's one oh. call. Oh, the glow looks so good. Okay, you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, go back into first person mode. Now look at the sky. Okay. 
Watch, uh, we, we got a storm coming in. I'm gonna start seeing Whoa. clouds forming. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god! That is intense! Oh, it's not just the s oh, dude! Keep that watching. it's natural habitat. Oh, that is so cool. We got we got a thunderstorm coming in. Oh, oh my God! Okay, now I want you to one call again. Holy shit! Damn! That's insane! Oh my god! Alright, I'm flying. Wow! Oh my god, it looks so good! This is... This looks so good! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That is pure insanity! <laughs> oh All right, my uh, Fly away from me a little bit, and I want you to watch me do a one call while you're, uh... I'm, uh, kind of down here down near the pond. So. Oh my god! That is so cool! That's, that's like, intended. That's what this dragon can do during a, a thunderstorm. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah, this is a this is a blitz striker and uh so he gets a buff during a thunderstorm, so he gets infinite bile and uh he can like stun people and call uh he can summon we call it storm calling, so he can storm call during a thunderstorm. Oh my god, that's so insane. That that's so insane! Oh my god! I love the sound and the buildup of the static electricity, too, in some of the calls. Oh, that is so cool. Well, the weather's changing. Now, when the st when the thunderstorm leaves, you're not able to summon lightning anymore. But we got a sandstorm coming in. Oh, you have, a, you have sand, too? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, that is... Oh god, I can't see anything. It is dangerous to fly right now. Will that have any effects on your dragon? Will it make it more thirsty uh, it, or Yeah, we're going to have like weather's weather having effects um depending on the type of weather, so and what you know, what type of dragon you are. Oh my god, that is pure insanity. Oh, it's easing off. <laughs> Like, like you can, you can feel a. S Is that snow? Yep, it's snowing. <laughs> you can feel a, a, a sense of tension lifting off your shoulders when the sandstorm passes too. I didn't realize you'd have like all these different weather effects. It's snowing. We had a sandstorm. We had a, a thunderstorm. Oh, it's so peaceful. It's so nice. And that is the exclusive preview of the Storm Calling Blitz Striker. Now we move into the Inferno Ravager, known to be the strongest combat dragon of all the dragons in this game with the highest DPS stats. I experienced this new dragon with everyone else during a stream event hosted by Be Awesome Games. Everyone was eager to jump into the server and experience the next big dragon. Surprisingly, it had its abilities and full sound set as well. Though, keep in mind, this dragon is a work in progress. Many of us flooded the server and we instantly all started running around, flying, testing things out, just taking a look at the dragon in general. So, funny enough, I think this is actually a wyvern, which would make it the first wyvern ever in Day of Dragons. The run caught me off guard, in all honesty, because a lot of games show this creature running with its wing claws and kind of like a quadrupedal type of stance. But here, it's shown running upright on two legs. And I actually really, really like this style of running. It's different compared to what I'm used to seeing in different games. And it's a welcome change, I think. I am on fire. Oh. God, it's so cool. Oh my god. 
my god, the flying! Um, that's actually cool. You're so heavy when you jump off the ground, too, to take flight? Yeah. yeah. Chunky. Yeah, it's so hard to get off. Oh, but it's worth it. Like he's straining. Gotta go on a diet. Oh my god, so <laughs> Have you felt his turn radius in the air, though? It's oh yeah, this is a tank in the air. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. Okay, so unlike... I don't. I think this is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's... This thing's I, I like to... I like to run it. It's like trying to balance itself, too. That's cool. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a dream come true. I kind of thought this dragon was gonna be like a lot like the flame stalker, but it, it's actually... It's very fast. interesting. It is definitely fast. I wanna get... I wanna get this. I wouldn't okay, imagine so this dragon's optimized right now, though, for flight and stuff. Wait, uh, is it not? It is still uh, needing some polish. Okay. Like the finalized stats oh, yeah, and stuff like that, too, I'm assuming. Many people are behind me. And including me. Wee. Are we able to battle Pookie? Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here. So obviously, oh. when you have a new god. wyvern added to the game, people want to test it out and see how strong it is. Why not go ahead and try that with the Sand Slayer okay. Worm? Now before we do that and mess okay, around so with it with everyone else during the live stream, I'm just going to jump in right now and show you the worm because there's a little bit I want to talk about. We're back in game now, and I'm going to go ahead and hatch this guy out real quick. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys here too. I didn't even know that anyone was on the server right now. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the bio dragon. I forgot it has its snore. So I need to visit this guy again too, uh, because when we saw it last, it didn't have all of its sounds and a lot of its animations. A lot has been added, so I will take a brief moment to look at that. But for now, I need to try and find something. <laughs> Well, that's the bio dragon in the distance. Oh, it sounds so good at a distance. Oh, man. So that's obviously the main broadcast of this creature. I think it sounds great. God, that is insane. I really, I can't wait to hear what the elder version of this sounds like too. So surprisingly, there was an update to the Sand Slayer worm as well. The worm that we saw in the previous Day of Dragons video was a little bit underwhelming. Uh, and also, they seem to have fixed the audio as well. Um, and the frequency of when this worm actually pops out of the ground. It seems they've um, updated the worm's size to be more accurate to what this thing is actually supposed to be scaled at. Because before it was pretty small, I think, at least. It had some performance issues or something going on, but, you know, I'm not going to judge too much. Now, it is rarer to get the worm. We're so trying to get the sandworm to breach and antagonize it into doing something. Because it's, uh, it's a lot rarer to get now. But I don't... I'm not getting anything yet. All I'm hearing are the sound effects. It's under the ground, but it's not coming up. Oh. Here come more dragons. Alright, we're gonna try and get... the sandworm with a couple more of us. Hopefully, we'll be able to. They are all wyverns. All coming in here. Hello, friends. Oh, man, it looks so good. Like, I just, I love seeing dragons and stuff flying through the air like this. This is so good. Oh, I gotta try and land down right here. And let's see if we can antagonize this thing to pop up. There it is right there! Ha! Found it! Finally! So, they've added new sounds for it. And they've increased its size significantly. Now this creature is... I think as big as intended, but it can be a lot bigger as well. It also looks like they might have updated the um, the aesthetic of it a little bit as well. There it is digging down through the sand, and I don't know where it's gone. But seeing the actual size in game now is pretty great. Obviously, it takes a couple dragons and wyverns for it to provoke and then come up out of the ground. You can hear the sound effects that were added too. That sounds so cool. 
And everyone's trying to kill it. Okay, all right then. I guess we're gonna try and kill it. Hang on a second. Special ability on. And... Yep, that's a lot of fire. And it took a lot of damage then. But I don't... I honestly, I don't think we're even able to kill it. We really tried our best with a lot of Elder Dragons to try and take this thing down uh, when it was first introduced. And unfortunately, it just, it didn't want to go down. We're not Elder Dragons right now, even though we're the highest DPS uh, Wyvern. I keep saying Dragon. Um, even though we have the highest DPS in the game right now, I don't think we're even going to have scratch the surface of this creature and hurting its health pool. I'll just stand on top of it. It'll be burned by being in my vicinity and I'll just keep biting. I have my doubts. If it goes down this time, I'm just going to stop trying to kill it. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah, it didn't go down. But just seeing it up from above now, you can tell how much bigger it is. Like it's massive now compared to how it was. Oh, and uh, here too, there's this. Um, so this thing can actually grab you out of the sky. I didn't know it'd be able to, but apparently it's a thing and they've already animated it. And this is a teaser uh, from the dev to let you see, but it can reach up and it can grab your dragon fresh out of the sky. And, and that's, that's the end of you. So I really hope that OBS picks this up because this was a subtle detail that I really, really liked. So I have this special ability, which sets me on fire. As you already know, I have a lot of bioluminescence that, that comes up and I do a roar and everything else. So look at the ground all around me. You see all the orange and the, the fiery red and like the light cast and stuff. It also looks like the ground is being superheated underneath me. That's, that's the thing that I feel I see. You can just see all of that like almost like um like embers and coals and then if i shut this off you see all the red embers and everything start to flutter away very nice aesthetic move so you've already seen this the broadcast and then we have the threaten all right the friendly now i believe the sound is a placeholder. I think this is the scared. Yeah, so that's the scared. And five has the working animation, but it's using a placeholder sound. I think it's the uh, one of the drakes that are the sound. But this is the mating display, I think. That is actually really cool with the wings. You just open them right up, just like a giant shield wall. Just look how big my wings are. Want to smash? Like, <laughs> man, I, I've started a war against the death worm. I've returned as the bio dragon just for a moment because now there are new sounds and new animation for this creature that I wanted to show you. I'm just going to go over them real quick. Nothing big. So here's the broadcast. All right. Broadcast is very different than we have the threaten. Okay. And... That's the friendly. And then the scared. And then the... I, this is just the mating thing. But this is the, that's the one we got to see in the last video. That's all we got to see, though. Now it has all of those calls. Oh. I am sorry if I upset you or offended you, I guess. And finally, we move into a first look at the behemoth and a few other things coming to Day of Dragons in the future. Now, just for a moment, because I wanted to show you the bio dragon and its food source. So the bio dragon's different. You survive off of nectar and flowers. And if you watch closely, you'll see some of the flower buds begin to close on this plant as he begins eating with this creature. And subsequently, some of them will start to bloom again and reopen, allowing you then to then continue eating. If all of the bulbs are closed, you will not be able to get any nectar or food source from this plant in particular. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, let's move into some really cool creatures. Okay, so we're moving up now to some different models that are, they are huge. Is that yeah, a behemoth? So, yeah, that's that's the Icehorn behemoth. Um, so far, people have only seen like, you know, the stuff no bigger than a class five. This is the big stuff coming. And then here we have uh, our second uh, elemental. I didn't this know you had that one done. Yeah, this is Glacier, the uh, ice elemental. 
Oh, that's so cool. I didn't, I had no, I thought you only had the magma and then that was like the extent of it and this guy would come later on. I didn't know that you guys already had this modeled and textured out. That is, that's insane. That is really cool. What, what's this guy? This is a class seven AI creature that um, people will not want to mess with. It's uh, pretty docile unless you aggro it. And uh, it's it's also going to be the, our first AI that has like little babies that follow it around. So it'll be kind of like a herd AI. It and, looks like something out of Monster Hunter. And this is a this is a class eight behemoth. Um, this is the ice horn behemoth. So that's just pure insanity. That looks incredible. Like that's that's amazing. Oh my god, it's huge. Look at the size of those teeth. How do you even have this in the world? Where would you find this? What would this be? Is this player? Is this AI? Yeah, this is a player. Uh, this is a player dragon. Um, so. These are going to be on cooldown, so you're only going to select, like, if you lose yours, you're going to have to wait on a cooldown before you can spawn in again. Um, they take, they're going to take a very, very long time to grow uh, to this size. And we're th when I say long time, uh, I'm thinking it's going to take several days uh, to get to this size. And that is everything we have to look at in Day of Dragons right now. A very, very successful stream. Congratulations to them. And a very interesting look at the development of what this game has been doing so far. I didn't expect to see a behemoth, let alone get to play as the Blitz Striker and cause storms. That was pretty intense. As always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section about what you've seen in this video. The Rhino no, just as a note, has not been named yet. And I, this is kind of unofficial, but I'd like to see what you would do for name suggestions because it'd be kind of cool if one of you guys got to name it and I can maybe pass it along, but I'm not making any promises. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.